Yo, what's going on, guys? We are back. We made it to the weekend, boys. Greatly do appreciate everyone coming by, man. Hope everyone's having a great weekend. New Ultimate Legends this morning. Ultimate Legend packs, kind of testing out everything. And then our final part, my final part, for the Bundle Battles Gauntlet Edition. I know it hasn't been going well for me, but it has still been a ton of fun. And you guys have been really enjoying it, so... We're going to see how all that ends out for me tonight. So regular Ultimate Legend packs, just checking out all the new stuff this morning. My part of the final part of the Bundle Battles Gauntlet Edition tonight. And then CC will be tomorrow with the final, final, final part, final destination of the Bundle Battles Gauntlet Edition, boys. So a few things to go over. We're going to check out everything, see what these Ultimate Legends are. Maybe Ultimate Legend packs got reduced probably not probably not probably gonna still be a few more weeks before they cut those things in half even though it should have probably done like two three weeks ago but that's enough let's get it need some coins mmo exp yes they are real no they aren't instant no one is but they are reliable and the cheapest around use code scomo for five percent off get you some coins stack your team get those dubs boys Yay! all right boys let's get it let's get it new ultimate legends we're getting close to the end, boys. We were just talking about it. I'm thinking like two, three Ultimate Legend drops left. Maybe four, but my guess is probably only going to be like three more Ultimate Legend drops. Maybe four. Ed McCaffrey, Warren, Sap are going to be our two main set Ultimate Legends with our limited being Lee Roy Butler, not Re Lee Roy Jenkins. Don't get the two, don't get the two confused. Ed McCaffrey, Warren Sapp, two sets, limited time. Lee Roy Butler, Ed McCaffrey. You need nine set pieces, 97 wide receiver, fullback, 93 overall, six what, six seven fullback? Holy cow, that's an interesting out of position right there. Warren Sapp, defensive tackle and tight end. 93 overall tight and Warren Sapp. Very cool. Very cool. Let's see if we can get one ring real quick this morning. You know I love starting off on these. We actually did get rings last week. Was profitable. It was like the first time. But we're going to see if we can get them back to back here, boys. All right, we got our pack. Ring me, baby. One more time. Negative 93, though. 93 okay question of the hour is they did not reduce the price of ultimate legend fantasy packs yet still 2,000 points and 160,000 coins boys i know the chat before we jump into the packs boys i just want to let everyone know that's watching this on youtube i just launched my madden 22 giveaway on twitter and instagram so once again if you're watching this on youtube down in the description and in the comment section should be a link to either go to twitter or instagram or you can if you have both social media accounts you can sign up for both of them and have two chances to win a copy of the mvp edition of madden 22 i'm gonna probably give it like a week or two and pick a uh, winner maybe like next weekend or something like that and then maybe do like another giveaway or something We'll see how they go. If they get a lot of support, I'll maybe do them a few times before the game comes out. So make sure you guys go over to Twitter and Instagram to join the giveaways. 80% on the yes. You guys are feeling the vibes today. All right. Let's see what we got. 83. I mean, we're, we're, we're in deep, deep trouble today for bundle battles just because I have just, I, I had the worst luck during the week on these single packs. I mean, I came up with the idea of Bundle Battles Gauntlet Edition. You would figure it would give me the win. It was my idea. It did not give me the win. So I, I don't I don't know. I don't know. Normally, I'm a little concerned about getting too many good pulls in the morning. I don't want to waste my luck for later on. But to tell you what, at this point, I don't, I don't, I don't know if we got a chance. Don't know if we got a chance. So you can just give me all the 99s right now. I won't be mad. 93 overall, Sean Taylor. First pack, not horrible second round was actually pretty good first round did have a 90 190 90 90 and a 93 okay okay not bad yeah i mean the fan appreciations i did okay but like so did he he just absolutely killed it on the uh el my elite packs were horrible to start the uh with the second round of uh gauntlet edition but even my first round of the game changers like his were so good 
another 90 in the first round that is good first rounds are full of elites right now definitely a good sign a little bit better today back to normal and rings no rings rings there they are 97 full ultimate legend isaac bruce we're getting multiple ultimate legends here 87 and 93 need rings again there we go with a 95 randall cunningham i haven't said it yet boys i have not said it 94 in the first round very nice though but i feel like i need to say it and it needs to be said every time you do a pack opening i still have yet to pull a golden ticket in a regular pack maybe today is the day probably not 97 rod woodson 297s already all right a 94 and a 97 i mean if this was bundle battles we'd be hanging in there a little bit i feel like what this is gonna end up being like this week with these scores 86 82 and 81 oh it's definitely him he played in a uh, celebrity game yesterday which is funny 92 84 and 893 we got a new ed mccaffrey okay so that is a new piece right there it's all yesterday obviously the announcement for the madden 22 market change price ranges all came out obviously lots of questions and lots of concerns if you guys want to know coin selling should still be fine uh might change up a few methods and things like that for coin selling but this inflammation has been in fifa since about fifa 15 and coin selling and all that kind of stuff still happens over in fifa uh there's definitely gonna be some changes to to some stuff but uh it'll pretty much still be business as usual especially for sites like mmo here we go here we go uh 88 83 and 89 that was a bad pack come on give me 199 bro can we get 199 i still think it was pretty funny us playing our uh weekend league game yesterday i had an absolute crack out of uh playing my weekend league game yesterday booting up to the first weekend league game being on defense and my opponent's first play was stretch a looky like bro i i was so i was i was dying laughing that was funny that was funny to me i thought about that all day I was like bro i ain't played in months first play stretch a looky we did get rings 96 overall they doing it like that makes it easier to ban you for buying coins it actually makes it harder to ban you for buying coins it makes it absolutely impossible for them to ban you for buying coins so let, let's just let's have let's have a conversation here okay let's say this 82 overall steph on to it sells on the auction block for 10,000 coins okay let's just say the price range is 10,000 coins to 17,000 coins right meaning that you could post it for seventeen thousand coins now if there's 20 other to it at ten thousand coins you're probably not going to sell your one for seventeen thousand but you can still post it for seventeen thousand okay then you get the coin site to buy your card for seventeen thousand which you then make a profit of seven thousand coins the website has a card now that's worth 10,000. They can sell that 10,000. So they didn't lose 17,000. They only lost 7,000 because they got the to it that they can sell, right? So now you've made 7,000 coins. You're the customer. You got 17,000 coins. You basically made 70% profit on your purchase, right? But there's no way that EA can ban you, period. Why, you ask? because you sold it within their parameters they said i could sell stefan to it between 10 and 17 thousand i sold him at 17 thousand they can't ban me you said i could sell it at 17 thousand so i did so the same thing like if you have a car that's a hundred thousand and it's in a range between a hundred thousand and two or something like that but let's just say it's just in the range from a hundred thousand to like 150 160 000, right now every hundred thousand card coin card that you sell you can sell 
and have it make 50 60 70k so just like my team or some of these other games instead of posting one card to get the million coins you just gotta post like five or six cards that's it go and take it hey that's not a big one it's got the other side which is the bigger one all right 83 and 95 ring double ring pack with a 96 bruce matthews all right last pack boys uh is leroy butler out he better have been unless we're getting make rights did they not release leroy butler we didn't check the block actually do we need to go check the block Ooh. and last round give me a full one give me a full one 99 no 99s oh we get two 97s few 93s all in all not that bad but it's still the, the packs still just need to be reduced so bad leroy butler is on the block so he was live i just was not lucky enough to pull him maybe we'll do a few rolls here but he is on the block 436,000 coins boys good luck ripping